Are all-in-one manufacturers robbing you of performance due to the thermal paste they're using? Find out next. Hey, I'm Jameson with 6x6 Studios. Welcome back to the Nerd Cave. Today we're going to be changing out the thermal compound on my rig back here on the Water 3.0 from Thermaltake. It's a 360 millimeter radiator all-in-one. Uh, it's strapped into my system back here and Ryzen 7 1700. It's overclocked to 3.9 gigahertz at 1.4 volts. So uh, it's been a really great processor and water cooler so far. Uh, max temperature I've ever seen on it's about 65 and that's been uh, you know, running a synthetic load on it like Ida 64 for an hour or whatever. So um, it's been really great. Uh, we're gonna see if Thermal Take's actually robbing you of some performance by using the uh, thermal compound they choose to use over something like uh, Arctic Silver 5 that we're gonna be changing this out with. Um, it should be pretty simple, but I uh, wanted to do a little uh, video over it so that I could show you guys how to do it. It's real simple. So here's my computer here. It's a Ryzen 7 1700. Um, it's got a GTX 1080 and 16 gigs of G-Skill Trident RAM. So first thing you want to do is shut down your rig. Um, definitely want to be safe and uh, unplug the back as well, as well as turn off your power supply. You might even hit your power button a couple of times just to uh, discharge everything that might be in those capacitors on your motherboard. My uh, Case is really easy to get into. It's the Thermaltake Core P3, so it fits that Thermaltake water cooler perfectly. And it's just got this plexiglass side panel that just takes a couple of screws to pull off and you've got really easy access to everything. So the Water 3.0 is held on by uh, the AM4 bracket that I had to order. But uh, it's just four screws. You always wanna do it in a star pattern like I'm doing here and um, just do a little bit at a time. So you want to make a couple of passes to uh, pull it off. As you can see, my graphics card is actually a blower style. I know a lot of you are probably going to get onto me for that, but uh, I bought it way before I had this case. So there's the thermal compound. Um, it looks pretty good. I mean, it was pretty evenly spread and uh, on the processor as well. It's pretty evenly spread. It kind of missed the corners though. So I'm hoping to maybe lay a little bit more thermal compound down to cover it up this time. Um, there was actually some damage on the copper plate on the bottom of my water 3.0 um, that was caused from uh, maybe me tighten it down a little bit too tight but there it is my Ryzen 1700 um, I love this processor it's been really great for content creation and video games and uh, uh, all of it really so here's the uh, copper plate if you can see there's a line um, on the right hand side of the uh, copper plate it's kind of difficult to see with the glare there but uh, that was from the side of the processor so not exactly sure what happened there and I'll try not to uh, tighten one side down too far so like I said before we're gonna use Arctic Silver 5 it's uh, I've been using it for years and it's obviously a really good quality thermal compound way better than what they're going to be using right out of the factory so like I said I applied just a little bit more than I normally would I wanted to make sure that the edges got covered on this so um, I wouldn't have that lapse like I had on the last one but here we go we're going to just slide this back into place it's a little bit awkward with that bracket but you just again screw in all four of the uh, pegs um, you want to do this also in a star pattern and make a few passes at it. You want to kind of slowly just lower that cooler down on there to squish that thermal paste and, and spread it out throughout the processor. So um, once you get it tightened down all the way, you're done. It was really very simple. It's, it's, it's not a very hard process at all. Um, I, always, I had this pesky little cord here that's for my pump uh, run to the uh, motherboard, so I just uh, decided to tuck that back behind the water cooler, make it look nice, line up all my tubes, and I was ready to go. Okay, so after getting the thermal compound changed out and running Ida 64 for about an hour, uh, I'm at about 63 degrees Celsius. So there was a slight improvement. I don't know if it was really within a uh, test variant or uh, whatnot, but um, I would say it was worth it for the eight bucks and about the 15 minutes that it took me to change all this out. So um, if you're looking for the Arctic Silver 5, the link is down in the description. Definitely recommend it if you're trying to get just a little bit of boost in performance for uh, not a whole lot of money. Uh, I'm Jameson with 6x6 Studios. If you liked the video, like subscribe leave a comment down in the bottom uh, definitely love to hear what you thought about it and I'll see you in the next one thanks